So in the last example, we changed the font size, the label, we changed um, some of the specifics behind the background color, the font, uh, but we didn't get to the width yet. The width is very similar to the height. We talked about fill parent before. If I clicked on fill parent, it's gonna go all the way out here to the edge of the screen because width is how wide it is. Height, how tall, width, how wide. So if I click okay, fill it all the way to the right. All right, and then like I said, pixels is how many pixels you want it. Percentage of the screen. Uh, we're just gonna leave it, I'll leave it what, like that, perfect. I'll just say fill parent width. And the text for the label, since I called it first name, first name is Josh. So it's just what I put on the screen here. I don't know why I would want that on my app, but it's there and we're messing around with it and just playing around with it right now. So um, text align, this is just where you want the text right now. It's left aligned, which is pushing it all the way over there. If I want it in the center, I could just put it there. If I want it right, um, I liked it in the center, so I'm going to do it in the center. The text color. Okay, so that was black. Let's choose, let's say I don't like any of these colors. I go down to custom. And, well, since it's already black, let's say I click on, let's say I want like a navy blue. If I click on blue, it changes it to blue right now, but I can go in here, click here, and say custom. And let's make that darker. Right, so you make a darker blue. I can drag this wherever I want, change the color around. Let's just say I get like a dark blue. That looks about good right there. Click done, and now I have a darker blue. Looks kind of like black, but uh, that's that's okay. All right, and then you can also mark it as visible. Like if I don't want the label to show up, I can click this button. And it's gone. And if I want it visible, I can say it's visible. All right. Um, also, if you look at the screen one, there's a bunch of things in here in the screen that we can set. Like all the widgets are going to align to the left. Well, I said widgets. All the components are going to align to the left, um, center, right. And we'll continue to look through this. See, this is example app two. That's not the app name. We're going to change the app name to Awesome App. And you can set a background image. Something cool down here, like if someone were to download this app, like the, like if you have like the Facebook app on your phone, and it's like a lowercase f, or if you have the Instagram app, it's a picture of the camera. Um, well, at least it used to be. I don't think it is anymore. But you can set the icon to whatever it is that they see. You can upload an icon to it. So that's a cool option. Um, we're not gonna talk much more about many of these. Title, um, I'll just call this, I'll just say awesome as the title. And you see right here, it popped up here across the top title. If I don't want the title to show up at all, I can click here where it says title visible. And that makes it where the title is not visible. And that's how most apps are. Most apps don't show you the title of the app or of the title screen up there. So I'm going to click that. You can add a tutorial URL. You can determine whether or not it's scrollable, which means if people can scroll up and down, I'm going to click that to that it's scrollable. Okay. So these are all the different properties of the screen. You can always edit these if you don't like the way something looks. If you want to change the background image of the app, like you want something in the background here, you can add a picture and do it that way too. But we're not going to get into that quite yet. We're just going to focus on this one label we made. Uh, in the next example, we're going to add a button.